Your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video, man. I know it's been a minute. Uh, shout out to my man Kyle Pyle. Uh, shout out to Jarvis. Uh, those are two people that checked on your boy. It was like, hey, where you been at in the whole nine, man? I just, I told them I just ain't been motivated to do videos, YouTube, or anything of that nature, man. Uh, I've been extremely busy uh, ripping up and down these highways, uh, just stuff going on all over the place, and. I think I've said in previous videos after Labor Day it was Christmas from here on out and it's Christmas <laughs> from here on out man I got um, y'all can't cuz I got this thing right here so there is so many gifts behind this thing there's so many gifts my whole little ordeal as far as my um, uh, core audio stuff and things of that nature it was already crazy now you throw in all these toys and things of that nature and whatnot. Uh, I don't want to say too much because the people might look at this video, but uh, there is a product on that table that's been sitting around for quite a while. Uh, there's so many things, car audio wise, that have been sitting around here for quite a while. Uh, but, uh, you know, I finally got everything set up as far as holiday decor and all that nonsense and whatnot, man. But. Uh, finally motivated to do a video uh, got a shout out from V fly uh, So I don't know if that'll upload prior to this one or whatever man, but uh, Regardless of that, let's take a look at what's on this table. Uh, it is something I ordered before so let's see what this version does Let's get to it man. All right y'all. So what we got here on the table is some good old CT sounds man uh, It's been so long since your boy did a video. I don't even know how to do this anymore uh, but I did remember to cut the top to make it easier for the video because Y'all might not be able to see that uh, based on the way that the camera's angled, but this box has a little slope in it because uh, I ordered something else. And this will probably be a two-part video uh, because I do want to give a, a shout out to CT Sounds uh, for their extreme great and friendly customer service, man. But nevertheless, uh, let's go ahead and get to this here. Y'all can see all that. HelloCTSounds.com, the website, Facebook, Instagram, and obviously YouTube. Uh, but let's go ahead and get what's in here. Uh, it's going to be some speakers. Uh, no need to drag that out. Once again, that's some, something that will be in the title, I'm pretty certain. But, like I said, we got a couple products. This right here is a Neo 6.5. Uh, I might take a look at it. We did unbox that before on a previous video. Uh, one of those came messed up. And like I said, this will probably be a two-part video. I think I probably will open this just to get it out the way. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, what we have in here uh, for uh, the CT sounds is the actually, um, I don't know, would you call this a step down, step over, sideways, whichever way, I don't know, man. Uh, but this is the mezzo speaker. Mezzo, 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 I don't know. Uh, but this is the fluorite uh, magnet. Uh, so this is a little bit heavier than that, well, it's quite a bit heavier than that Neo. Uh, however, this is a six and a half pro type speaker, uh, 250 watts RMS, uh, four ohm, uh, 96 on 96 dB on a sensitivity, uh, CC, CCAW uh, as far as the voice coil, um, winding material CCA. Y'all can see all of that, hopefully. Yeah, I think y'all can. So let me go ahead, uh, get all four of these out the box. Move this one over here. Uh, Y'all can see we got three more. Uh, let's get them out the box and take a look at them. All right, so we got everything out the box. Uh, once again, the weight difference between the Neo and these, uh, the Mezzos or Mezzos, whichever way you pronounce it. This is a paperweight, and it's a whole doggone speaker in there. And like I said, we'll get to this at a later date and time because we got CT sounds, news, uh, reviews, whatever way you want to look at it uh, to talk about. So we're going to put this in the background somewhere. All right, and get to this good old four pack, man. So, uh, like I said, man, all of these are 250 watts RMS. So we got a thousand watts uh, worth of speaker right here, and we just had the Neo. Obviously, weight isn't a, a tell-all, be-all about a speaker, 
Uh, but these, the weight on these compared to the Scar FXX um, speaker is way different. Uh, these jokers got some heft to them, man. Uh, but as we fold up the first flap, you see CT sounds is not about hearing sound. It's about experiencing sound. I believe the other speaker said that as well. Um, I don't know if I'm correct or not, but I, like I said, we'll do a follow-up sooner or later, uh, especially with the holidays and all that coming up, man. Um, I should have free time, but that's not guaranteed. That's definitely not guaranteed. Uh, we've got this here. Thank you for your purchase. CT sounds only. Don't forget to leave us a review. Uh, I've been in talks with the company. I will do a review as far as uh, my experience with them and things from that of that nature. Uh, we obviously do have a huge uh, CT Sounds sticker in there. Good old vinyl. And we got that long one there. But, man, let's go ahead and take a look at that speaker. I'm not going to lie. When I got these. I did buy these for somebody else. <laughs> I don't mean to be that dude, but I don't know if they're going to get them or not, man, because at the end of the day, I like the way that this speaker, I like that little bullet in there, man. I've always wanted that. That's why a couple years ago I had those Orions. Uh, the speakers were fine, but we all know what happened with that doggone uh, HCCA SPLX amp. If you don't know about it, go check. Go go through the channel, check that out, and go look at Go look for the flames. Uh, we'll put, just put it like that. All right. So for as far as speaker number one, like I said, man, it's got some heft to it. Nice little uh, CT sounds engraved in the basket there. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on display for y'all. Uh, so once again, uh, this is the six and a half inch, 250 watts RMS, a four ohm load, man. So um, like I said, at the end of the day, Oh, and we also got these push terminals. Uh, so it's not bad. I'll probably throw it, because I don't remember how, like I said, it's been sitting around for a while. I don't remember how much I paid for these. I'll probably just throw in a video here. But this is one hell of a speaker, 250 watts RMS. I know it definitely wasn't $100 a speaker or anything crazy like that. So let's go ahead and do our due diligence as far as opening all four of these jokers. All right. Number one, you get out the way. Let's go for number two here. All right, so hopefully, yeah, y'all can see that on camera. It's more of the same, uh, the whole nine as far as stickers and whatnot. And let me shout out them on that as well. Let's move this joker out the way. Uh, I do want to give them a shout out as far as the way that they got these things packed with that styrofoam. Uh, for some reason, a lot of these companies don't think about things when they ship their speakers because, oh, it's lightweight. It's not a subwoofer, it's not that much, all the nine, that whole nine, man. But at the end of the day, the customer experience is what is what matters. Let's say, you know, I mean, granted, I'll shout out Down for Sound. Because uh, at the end of the day, they make that claim and they actually do have uh, some of the fastest shipping in the industry. So you got to give them props for that. Uh, but at the end, you know, let's think of, I'm not buying from Down for Sound. I want CT Sounds. Um... Let's say I hurry up and order these in a pinch and I got five, 10 days to get my build done and I'm everything's done. The wires are ran the whole nine. Amps are set up. I just need the speakers. Uh, maybe I'm switching from DS18 or PRV or something like that. And I want to put in these CT sounds and see if, you know, maybe the, the homies got them and they sound way better in his setup. So I'm deciding to switch in. You want them to hurry up and send you that speaker and then when you get it uh you want it to come in pristine condition and so that i think more manufacturers or more of these companies need to think about that uh when they start shipping these jokers out man we obviously we always appreciate the doggone stickers so we'll put that over there and let's get number three out the box all right so far we're three for three everything looks good can we go four for four slide you over there you come here so y'all could pr pretty much see uh, four times over everything's the same styrofoam uh, within the packaging uh, nice little plastic wrap on them and 
and yeah we went four for four man so everything's good to go uh, as far as the speakers if i keep uh, my word as i've been saying um well i can't really say keep my word man people didn't know the person uh that was supposed to receive these didn't they don't know anything about it so <laughs> they might have to just talk on video man because like i said these speakers are stupid nice uh so i'm definitely thinking about keeping them uh putting them in my little s10 and going from there man but yeah so we got some badass little four pack of speakers uh once again uh, like i said we do have the push terminal uh they do have ct sounds engraved on them 250 watts rms um for all four of these jokers man so uh we'll figure out what we're gonna what we want to do with them we'll go from there man so i know it's been a while but y'all know the deal man any questions comments concerns get at me man i'll try to get back to everybody um and once again in the spirit of holidays and the whole nine um nvx still got that going on man nvx.com uh audi 15 is the discount code uh, for your orders that is $25 and up. We also have something that I should announce probably two months ago at this point uh, with 12 volt and 12 volt and beyond. Uh, we'll go from there. Well, I'll give that update and all that at a later time, man. Uh, I want to give them their proper due diligence. Uh, like I said, it's been a while, uh, but everything, um, we'll get it right now here real soon, man. Y'all have a good one. I'm Audi, man.